Updated the 6th of April 2018, 8.50 Australian Eastern Standard Time as the tension built with every stroke Kate Campbell made while anchoring Australia to a world record in the women's 4 by 100 meters freestyle. Her teammate Shayna Jack realized this was not the most nerve-wracking she had found herself during the opening day of the Commonwealth Games. That moment had come earlier on Thursday when she contested a cutthroat swim-off to see who joined Campbell and her sister Bronte and Emma McKeon in the Australian quartet for the final. Jack was given the nod to swim the lead off leg and it was not lost on the 19-year-old. After completing a lap of honor with her more senior teammates in front of a frenzied crowd in Southport, that she may have missed the opportunity to be a part of swimming history. I knew I had to swim a certain time to get that spot and that's all I've ever wanted in my sport, said Jack, who trains with the Campbell sisters under coach Simon Cusick. I was ecstatic to be on that team and to come away with a world record. I honestly have no words for it. For the Campbell sisters and Mickey and this is not the first time they have been a part of a world record relay squad. All three helped Australia post a time of 3 minutes 30 seconds and 98 milliseconds at the 2014 Glasgow Commonwealth Games, before setting a new world mark of 3 minutes 30 seconds and 65 milliseconds at the Rio Olympics two years later. This time around they lowered their record to 3 minutes 30 seconds and 5 milliseconds, with Kate Campbell reflecting that achieving such a feat always felt significant. This is the stuff of dreams and to have that become a reality will be something I never take for granted ever again, Campbell said. I think as perfectionists we can always look for the next thing and we don't stop and appreciate the incredible moments when they happen and this is one of those rare incredible moments. Campbell's role in the world record cannot be understated after she produced a breathtaking split of 51.00 seconds for the final leg. Nor can it be ignored that she was missing from Australia's squad who finished second to the United States at last year's World Championships in Budapest while she took a sabbatical for most of the year during the post-Olympic season. Campbell hit the water 0.37 off world record place on Thursday night and made the turn at the 350-meter mark just 0.11 behind. A barnstorming final lap, cheered on by a crowd who knew a world record was on the cards, saw Campbell touch the wall over half a second under the previous benchmark. I'm going to make sure I stop and take a couple of breaths and realize how special this moment is because not many people get to experience it, she said. Aussies feed off energy of home crowd Bronte Campbell, who had propelled Australia into world record territory on the second leg, admitted she had not been expecting such a performance. She praised the support of the Southport crowd, believing they had a massive part to play in the history-making moment. I don't know how that happened but I think there is something to be said for home crowd advantage, the younger Campbell sisters said. We've never had that before and now we can see what that does for us. The relay finished off a busy night for McKeon, who also won her 100 meters butterfly semi-final less than 20 minutes earlier and placed third in the 200 meters freestyle final. McKeon, who had been troubled by a shoulder injury during the game's build-up, was disappointed with her display in the 200 meters freestyle, but was bowied to end the evening on such a high note. To finish the night with a world record, you can't ask for anything more. It's amazing, McKeon said. Sleep was on the agenda for McKeon, who has the 100 meters butterfly final coming up on Friday as she continues her arduous six-event program. But Jack was not expecting any shut eye upon returning to the athlete's village, after her earlier nerves were replaced by sheer elation in the wake of the world record-breaking night. I probably won't sleep tonight at all, because, I'm so excited, she said.